Hello and welcome to another installment of the Pug's Thoughts in the Doghouse. I'm Pug and here's what I'm thinking. First off, I would like to thank TC Females, Everyday Adventuring, Eric PAPC, um, and OR Yankees for subscribing. I really appreciate that. I also got my first hate comment. Somebody called me an idiot in one of my videos. And I was amused by this because it, I think it's awesome that somebody would take the time to do that. And I find it funny because a lot of us here on YouTube, we're just fans, you know, and this is really casual compared to actually being on the radio and television. Believe me, I know. I've had experience with television and radio. Um, and yeah, so uh, I thought that was kind of funny. So um, I have some other comments to get to. Uh, first of all, the Kit Harvey sent me links with Auss Aussie Rules Football. I have watched them. I checked it. Oh, it looks like we got a lawnmower outside. Um, I have watched them. I checked out the Seattle Grizzlies website, and it's kind of hard to get around it. I was looking for the schedule, and I was having difficulty finding it. But anyway, um, actually, the Kid Harvey on ESPN3.com, there is some Aussie Roos football games, uh, and I've been meaning to watch some of them. Uh, I just haven't had the time this past week with me going out of town, uh, so I will definitely check them out. So uh, thanks, Kit, for uh, introducing me to another sport. Also, uh, the Kid Harvey writes... Uh, Good news about Golden Tate. I'm definitely feeling better about losing Burleson. I, and uh, then he talks about the links to Aussie Rules football. And I will say, I'm glad you feel better about losing Nate Burleson. Like I said, easily replaceable because the wide receiver core in the draft and also in the free agents, agency market was very, is very deep. Now I got Golden Tate. And I've heard, I don't know if this is true, but I've heard Golden Tate's going to wear uh, number 81, Nate Burleson's number. Okay, and then uh, R. Zen Kuken sent me a message. Uh, he wrote, I should clarify that I'm actually not a Seahawk fan. I'm a Jet fan. Whitehurst was, a Q was the QB I was hoping the Jets would draft because he had a fair amount of pre-draft hype, but instead they went th with the smaller, less athletic Kellen Clemens. We'll see how the move pans out, but I got a feeling it's going to work. Good luck this year. Good luck to you, too. We won't be playing you this year, so uh, good luck with the Pats. Uh, Dolphins Bill and, and Bills and thanks again for the message um, also just wanted to read this really quickly uh, uh, Risen X above sa uh, says uh, we had an awesome draft okay so with all the comments and the announcements out of the way uh, let's talk about this week's topic uh, this week has to deal with retired numbers um, the Seattle Seahawks left tackle Walter Jones announced his retirement last week and uh, that's the reason why I'm supporting the Hawks again this week um, and the Seahawks have already come out and said that they ha are going to retire number 71 in his honor. And it got me thinking uh, about what other numbers should be retired around Seattle sports. So, um, so here we go. Here's what, here's what I think. Um, let's start out with number 20. Now, because somewhere, somebody or an, or, an, or an organization has to retire number 20. Uh, for the former Seattle Supersonic great Gary Payton. Peyton always put Seattle before him. If you ever watch Sonic Gate, the documentary that explains why and how the Sonics moved, um, he says time and time again he wanted to end his career in Seattle and bring us a championship. Uh, he wanted his number retired as a Sonic and not an Oklahoma City Thunder player. And he was also at the last Sonic game uh, in Seattle before they moved to OKC. So uh, number 20 should be retired in honor of Gary Payton. Next up, staying with basketball, um, I gotta go with number 10 and number 15 for Seattle's WNBA franchise, Sue Bird and Lauren Jackson. They are the Seattle Storm, no ifs and buts about it. Uh, Jackson has won two MVP awards and Bird has racked up a thousand assists in her career. Both have been loyal to the city. Jackson has had numerous opportunities to leave and uh, she keeps coming back. She's actually coming back this year. I'm really excited about that. Uh, also, when one of them is hurt, the other one steps up. So number 10 and number 15 should be retired in honor of Sue Bird and Lauren Jackson. I'm going to skip soccer because the Seattle Sounders FC have only been around for two years. If I was forced to pick uh, a number, I would go with number 9 for uh, Sebastian Latou. Um, but I'm not going to dive deep into that. If you want a video, let me know, and I'll put one out next week um, about that. So uh, anyway, let's move to baseball. Obviously, number 24 and 11 uh, are going to be retired for Ken Griffey Jr. and Edgar Martinez. Um, no one has worn 11 since Martinez retired, and Griffey is one of the greatest home run hitters of all time. Uh, plus, Edgar has the best hit in uh, the, the number one hit in franchise history. 
Um, but another number I think should be retired is number 21 for Alvin Davis. Uh, this number is currently being worn by Franklin Gutierrez. I think it was worn by David Segui when he was here for a brief period of time in the, in the 90s. Alvin Davis has the nickname Mr. Mariner, and he was a hit before Griffey and Edgar. He was also the first Mariner to ever be inducted into the Mariners Hall of Fame. So that's, there's the reason there. And another number I think needs to be retired for the Seattle Mariners is number 19 for Jay Buhner. Now, I wasn't a big fan of Jay Buhner. No, don't get me wrong. And I, I say that because I'm not a fan of free swingers. I don't like players who swing for the fences all the time. But I think 19 should be retired because, like Alvin Davis, he's in the Mariners Hall of Fame, and he's not, uh, and he's not, uh, he doesn't have his number retired. So, um, so once again, I have uh, number 24, 11, 21, and 19 for the Seattle Mariners. And then finally, for football, alongside with Walter Jones and number 71, I think number 8 and 37 should be retired. Uh, 8 for Matt Hasselbeck, and because he's arguably the greatest quarterback in Seattle Seahawks history and 37 for Sean Alexander. Now, I know there's a love-hate relationship between Sean Alexander, but here's the reason why I think he should be retired. Alexander is the only player in the history of the Seattle Seahawks to win the NFL MVP award. Now, you can say that that was because of the line, that you could say that was one year. I understand that, but the reason why I think his number should be retired for that reason is because Steve Largent's number 80 is retired, and he didn't even win that award when uh, he was playing with the Seahawks. So, uh, so to recap, I have number 8 for Matt Hasselbeck, 10 for Sue Bird, 11 for Edgar Martinez, 15 for Lauren Jackson, number 20 for Gary Payton, 21 for Alvin Davis, 24 for Ken Griffey Jr., and number 37 for Sean Alexander. Feel free to comment and give your say. If you think there are any numbers that I uh, missed, uh, feel free to feel free to uh, type them down and, and comment uh, where, wherever the comment uh, side is, whether it's up here, to the sides, or down below. Uh, that will do it for this week. Thanks for watching, and until next week, this has been another installment of the Pug's Thoughts in the Doghouse.